Well, we return now to our main story, that the government has approved a forensic excavation of the former mother and baby home in Shum in County Galway. And we're joined now by the Minister for Children, Catherine Zappellan. Minister, thank you very much indeed for coming into us this evening. Minister, I mean, this is an incredibly complicated story, and there were many people who wanted this to happen, but there were very many who were opposed to the excavation. Why have you decided to go for it? Well, quite simply, we decided it because we believe that it is the right thing to do. We believe that it's a reasonable approach. It's rooted in scientific advice. Um, it's also rooted in human rights approach. Uh, and, and to Keelan, um, it has to do with my ongoing meeting of um, many of the survivors, the families of the children who they believe are actually interred in the site, and the importance of responding with empathy and care. And I presume also there is a desire to get some answers here. What happened to these children? Who placed them there? How many are there? We don't even know how many are there at this point. Absolutely. Um, of course, I think people want to have answers. It's really important to say, too, that there, there is the Commission of Investigation is still doing its work. It's investigating a lot of those questions that you've just asked there, and they will report in the new year. What our job is, though, is to try to answer some of the concerns, the deep feeling, the anguish, and the trauma of families of children who they think may be there in the site, um, buried in the most undignified manner, uh, and to I suppose really try to, to effort to our recovery, to identify, and then to rebury with great dignity and respect that they deserve. Now, I know Catherine Corliss has um, established 798 children died in Chum. We do not know how many of them are in this grave. And there are concerns that some of these children may have been illegally adopted. They, they, people would like access to the files. When will those files be made uh, available to relatives and families of the children here? Um, yes, I do appreciate that. Uh, first of all, in relation to the number that may be buried there, um, the government decision today was to make every effort to find and to identify any juvenile remains that, that, that are on the site. Uh, and that's, I think, really a... Um, profound decision and it's one that I am fully 100% backed by my, my cabinet colleagues. And, and that's as far as you need to go, it's not just the sewage site, it will include the <coughs> site. It, 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 it's the whole site there which is the sewage site, the playground and there's also some greenery as well, but it's the whole site that we're going to take a step-by-step -step approach based on the scientific uh, advice uh, it will start effectively with where we know there are children's remains in relation to the sewage system area, um, do uh, recover those. Uh, I think the other thing is that there will be a DNA analysis and testing of those um, remains, uh, and with the best possible methodology yet to be worked out by the group of experts that, that we need to assemble. Um, but I guess I want to in, uh, assure people that everything that will be done that can be done in order to identify the remains to the extent that it's scientifically possible. We know that it may not uh, be possible in every instance because they're juvenile remains, because they may be what the phrase is commingled, given the fact of where they were, very undignified, um, they experienced a very undignified burial, that, burial that they may be uh, mingled together, um, and that that's, that's what we mean by individualizing. And, and so those are the technical uh, So those are the technical challenges, and the files hopefully will come through the Commission of Investigation. And then exactly, the Commission of Investigation, exactly, uh, has yet to report, and will have, uh, I suppose, evidence and basis of those. And finally, uh, and briefly, I know the Bon Secours Order has volunteered some money towards this with no indemnity offered in return, but have you an overall figure of a budget for this? We have an estimate at this stage in terms of the approach that we want to pursue between 6 million and 13 million euros. And the Bonsecur sisters have offered 2.5 million. It's a voluntary contribution, no indemnity. Uh, no, it is not a settlement, uh, and it is specifically in relation to the work that is done on the site. And briefly, anything back from the Pope yet? I know you have spoken to him about this issue. Has he I, written back to you? I did. And uh, what I do know is that he heard me, uh, and I have not received an, a, a response yet, but I would be f very certain that the Vatican is paying attention to what is going on in Ireland right now. Okay, well, Minister Catherine Zappel, thanks very much indeed for coming in.